people in this country don't talk about death. It's like when I would talk about it sometimes with people, they would go, oh, be optimistic. You know, don't talk that way. You're going to be fine. And you really need to look at it. And, and this is the perfect way to do it. Once you have an illness diagnosed that's terminal, it really changes your viewpoint. Specifically with the cancer study, we're administering psilocybin as a treatment for serious mental suffering. Certainly, individuals with advanced cancer often have significant levels of existential anxiety. I had lost my faith because of anxiety, and I was just terrified. I was so anxious that I, it was hard to think about anything else. I didn't think I was so worried about death, but I was worried about the process of dying, about suffering and being in pain, and having all kinds of horrible medical procedures. I was being irritable with my husband, Richard, uh, when I was so anxious, and that, that was a bad, a very bad thing. Because he's my caretaker, you know, when I'm ill, and I was not being nice to him and treating him the way I should at all. She was irritable, and we were both stressed out. I'm not saying it was her fault. The dynamic of the interaction between us often led to quarreling. We talked about my intention and my intention was to learn to control my anxiety so I could enjoy the rest of my life because I was not enjoying my life at all. I'm there with the subject for the entire six hours. We take a standard hospital room and my research coordinator fixes it up with wall hangings and uh, fabric so we really create a nice setting and patients are kind of cocooned. Lovely purple wall hangings and they brought orchids. I was thrilled with that. Um, and then I had one of my tankas, my favorite tanka, right at the foot of my bed. And I advise them to go as deeply as possible into the experience. As soon as it started working, I knew I had nothing to be afraid of because it connected me with the universe. It was very gentle, and there were people right there if I got upset. Everything looked absolutely beautiful. I didn't see things that weren't there. With my eyes covered, I saw patterns and visions and uh, sort of faces and things. I thought about being involved with the people I love, and I thought about things I would do with each one of them and things I would tell them. I had an amazing spiritual experience, so it reconnected me to the universe. One of the CDs I brought, which was the Gyoto Monks, on psilocybin, I just felt like I was with these monks and they were giving me teachings and teaching me how to relax my body and to have faith. I was lying on this hospital bed, and it felt like the bed had turned into a circle of hands that were holding me up, and I was being supported. A Christian person would probably experience being supported by Jesus or God. They put on Ave Maria, and for some reason, that made me cry about what effect my death is going to have on my granddaughter. And, and they all came over and they just sort of put their hands on top of my hands. Very, didn't say anything, but they were just there. And it was very comforting. Every hour, we check in, see how they're doing. I had to get up and go to the bathroom, and when I was washing my hands, I looked in the mirror. I used to have very long, curly hair, and uh, people thought I was so much younger than I was, and I was now I look my age, you know, at least. So uh, I went back into the room and talked to them about that. I sort of came to the conclusion that, well, yes, I look older, but with age comes wisdom and maturity, and I felt okay with it. When we came back, 
It was like someone had put on a light bulb inside of Annie's head. She was literally glowing. Also for our cancer study, we're looking at the impact of our treatment on their overall quality of life. After that session, Richard and I went to Hawaii and we had a lovely time. You know, it wasn't weighing on my mind. I started chemo again and it was, it went okay. I mean, like everybody else, Annie has good days and bad days. And some days, you know, you're in pain, you're nauseous, whatever it is from the treatment. It's not easy, and I really do believe that the psilocybin has continued to buoy up her, her spirits. I want to spend more time with the people who are important in my life, and my relationship with my mother improved because I finally told her. She was very anti-drug, and I played a radio show that I was on for her, and we have gotten so much closer since I opened up that part of my life to her. I don't look ahead as far. This time of year, I'd be ordering plants for the spring to put in my garden, but I, I'm much more focused on this moment right now. What we did, it probably would have taken me years of therapy. And I would recommend psilocybin treatment for anyone with a terminal or potentially terminal illness. It's incredibly helpful. It's more helpful than any other treatment I've ever had. Thank you.